WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavento, mid-afternoon update for TFNN. I've posted the chart of the U.S. dollar index, folks. We've been up uh, eight weeks in a row. As you can see here, we've been banging against that 382 retracement from the high that we made last year. You know, and so this is a very, very important time for the currencies. However, you know, we're not seeing much of a response here. We've made new lows now in the Canadian, new, lo new lows in the uh, British pound, and almost new, new lows in the euro, and almost new highs in the dollar versus the yen. So that tells us that this market may not be over yet. So that's why we're paying attention to it very, very closely, because this market is many, many times bigger than the stock markets of the world. This is real money, folks. This is how the economies run and how they hedge their positions, whether it's airplanes, automobiles, uh, magazines. It doesn't make any difference. They've got to convert it from euros to dollars, dollars to Swiss, Swiss to pounds, whatever it happens to be, and that's how that market operates. It's a 24-7 market. It starts uh, Sunday at around uh, New York time at around 3 o'clock and goes all the way till 3 o'clock on Friday, uh, 24 hours a day. And it, huge, huge quantities go through here, folks, just a tremendous amount. So that's why we're paying so very, very close attention to it. Now, the market, uh, we sold off a little bit, and then we came back pretty strongly here in the Dow Jones. We've got the Dow Jones just a heartbeat away from the high we made here. Uh, on Monday, and uh, also the uh, the S and P is down oh maybe 20 points from that level, still a little way. The Nasdaq is a little bit more. The news, of course, is all f uh, hedged on what Apple is doing, and Apple is down again today, folks. Remember, yesterday we hit a 382 retracement, and then the market backed off. So it's telling you maybe these products that they have are going to be great, but maybe not as great as they're expecting or or what they would like to have, but. You know, these are things that the people that follow the fundamentals do, and I don't follow the fundamentals, so it really doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't involve me very much. So let's pay attention to what the technicals are telling us, and I've got a few technical charts to show you when we come back from our break. One is what we call the break your heart trade. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. 